Hi everyone, uh, I'm Afghan. I just want to say Happy New Year uh, to all of you guys and congrats we made through 2020. Yeah, so you guys are seeing my little sanctuary. Uh, in 2020, I spent most of my time stuck <laughs> in this space. Uh, so yeah, this is my living room. This is like the most comfy place for me uh, beside my room. So I hang out here a lot, watch TV a lot. I watch many K-dramas. I watch many documentaries. So one of my favorite K-dramas is uh, Itaewon Class. It's on Netflix. I was so inspired by the main character and I decided to cut my hair. <laughs> I started learning how to cook, so one of the menus I learned from uh, Ita One class is uh, tofu soup. That's actually what inspired me to create a cooking content on my YouTube channel. It really uh, gives me something new. This is my home studio. Uh, it's very minimal. Usually I do like many online gigs here. Because you know, in 2020, uh, I'm grateful that I still have like gigs offer, but uh, they kind of shifted to the virtual. So we we did it. Mo we did most of it here. For my birthday, I, have, I had this idea to throw um, like a virtual party. So I DJ. <laughs> it's so embarrassing to think about it now. Yeah. So basically, this is my space that I live in. This is my. It has been my headspace, I guess for the last year and if you can see like this is where I get my words and stuff like that so just to remind me that I still love music I suffered anxiety attacks mungkin sekitar 2 tahun ya apa 3 tahun ya pokoknya my mid 20s deh di mana gua naik ke panggung terus gua tiba-tiba anxious dan gua harus keep going gua paksa diri gua terus pas gua selesai manggung kayak all my energy is gone drain drain i don't can feel anything now i remember i was in bandung it was a great show the crowd was amazing but when i got off on stage i can't even smile anymore i was like sitting alone in some corner just I don't know, I don't know what I felt, just feeling numb basically and I was saying to myself, what is wrong with me? And then I remember my backup uh, singers, they were like, hey, I've got smile. Why don't you smile? And that, that's, that was like a wake up moment, wake up call for me because like, okay, this is wrong. I cannot keep doing this. You know, I'm missing out all of the great moments in my life because of this. I don't want to miss my life just because I'm... I, would, I don't want to feel victimized anymore because of this feeling. I have to thrive. So from that point on, I started to work on myself and be more disciplined about my emotional well-being. I'm just so grateful that I have a community that supports me, that really loves me for who I am, you know, and forget the music, forget the uh, achievements and stuff like that, but they really support me for who I am, and um, that kind of love I really feel grateful to experience in my life. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say that I'm just grateful for you guys. Thank you for, you know, always sticking by me throughout everything and always guys were always on my side whatever happened and uh, I want to show it I want to show the same love to you guys and anything I will I will always support you guys and I want you to, to be a part of my life uh, this is the only project that I really released in 2020, last year. Um, 
I wasn't planning on releasing anything for a year, I guess. Uh, but this song came up, and um, it wasn't supposed to be a duet, but I, we got in touch with uh, Raisa, and she loved the song. So uh, she was like, okay, should we do a duet again? And I was like, let's do it. Yeah, and I think this is uh, the beginning of my new chapter in my career. Uh, with the new album coming up, um, I think this a good this this was a good transition um, for my new music.